Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 2, Vault City Prevails Edition. <laughs> That's blind. I'm Spectral Star, and welcome to a very late night episode of this. I am recording at 1.20 in the morning because I was playing this, I just wanted to mess around with like the battles and stuff and see why I've been getting destroyed so badly. I mean, I haven't been getting destroyed exactly on the, uh, the Let's Play, but I decided to trade some things off. I traded the radio, which could be a very bad idea, and uh, some other things uh, for a nice suit. Yeah, if I can, it was on the inventory screen. A nice suit of metal armor, which is very, very nice, even though it weighs a lot, and uh, it makes you a little bit slower when you walk. What you be need. I also um, uh, went out into the wasteland and got into a little fight. And most of the little fights that I was in, I got killed like like really fast and really crazy. Uh, it was basically just a slaughter fest all night. And I'm just like, why am I dying so much? And it was to dogs. It was to everything in the world. It would just get a crit on me, knock me down, and chew me to bits. And that could still very well happen. But when I traded stuff, I got some uh, bullets for my uh, hunting rifle. And I got a leather jacket for, uh, I want to call him Tycho, but Sulik here. Anyways, I actually found this on one of the raiders that I killed. Or bandits, they were fighting dogs and stuff, and it was actually pretty lucky because I thought to myself, okay, well they're they're kind of pissed at each other, the dogs and the raiders, so I'll just uh, I'll just go ahead and start killing the guys with the guns first, and I killed them, and then I got the dog, the last dog that was alive, and uh, you know whatever. Also, uh, yeah, after they died, I looted them and got all their weapons and stuff. I got a desert eagle actually too, which I'm not too fond of that, and a knife. <coughs> which I'll probably end up selling. So anyways, I got 1,651 caps. I've got enough caps here to get Joshua out, so... Let's see, where was that? This is up here at the Servant Allocation Center. And yeah, I'm going to get Joshua out. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. Had a little brain fart there. I was like, where is that guy? Where is that asshole? That piece of crap. Yeah, I guess I better go wait outside. But yeah, man, this this game is really long. I've been I haven't been watching other people's parts, but like Metal Canyon, he's already finished his let's play of this, and it is so long of a let's play. Like he's got like over seventy parts, and that scares me a little bit. I mean. I don't plan on doing everything in the game because it seems like there's a lot of stuff to do. And plus, I'm on a time limit. And I kind of wish I wasn't, but I wanted to play through these, get a first hand experience out to you guys just to see, like, just to get my reaction on it. If for anything, for like future uh, playthroughs, I'll be caught up, you know, in all that. But here's this guy, so let's go ahead and talk to him. Yes, citizen. Uh, I'm looking for a particular servant. Joshua, yes. I would like him assigned to me anyway. He said he's been difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could purchase him and take him off your hands. Does the center take donations? Now, I failed at 750. Let's try 1,000. Well, that's not much of a donation as I was... That's not as much of a donation as I would like. But it will do. I'm sorry about the cough or sneeze or something. <coughs> okay, it was a belch. That's totally wrong. Well, how do you how do you mix that up with a bell with a cough or a sneeze? <laughs> Anyways, I shall see to it that this Joshua <laughs> you have requested is shipped to the courtyard for processing. Let me make the necessary arrangements. Okay. It is done. Joshua is no longer a servant of Vault City, and he has been removed to the courtyard uh, with the rest of the outworlders. Thanks. Very well. 
What a costly thing we did there. Then again, you know what? We got Vic out for a thousand. Everybody costs a thousand in this world, you know that? And Joshua is about to cost even more than that. But at least a thousand was acceptable for that slaver piece of shit up there. Okay. Now, I, I'm not going to inspect all of Vault City. Not everywhere I go. Not today. I will be, though. Sooner or later, I will. Anyways, Joshua's over here. Thanks for bailing me out. I appreciate it. Me and the wife will be moving on soon. Thank you for rescuing my husband. Please accept this as a reward. It's not much, but... What did she give us? Did we have... Maybe she gave us some money. I don't know. Maybe it's in here? Oh, no, it's not. It definitely was not in there. Well, let's go ahead and go. I'm, I'm cool with it, you know? If she doesn't want to give us anything for rescuing her husband, that's okay. We saved his life, all that. Blah, blah. Frickety blah. Anyways, let's get us a nice quick little save here. And yes, we are on save 69. <laughs> I am such a perv. And there we go. Save 70. How many parts of this LP will there be? 70? Maybe. It's a possibility. <coughs> Anyways, we want to go to Gecko because uh, they were talking about some ghouls up here messing with their water supply and all that bloody bloody blah bullshit. So let's rob them blind. Yay. Money, money, money. Okay, nothing. Absolutely nothing. This is bullshit. Let's go over here. You got any crap for me, buddy? Six of these, huh? All right, I'll take your rope, too, because I might want to hang myself after 80 parts. No, I'm just joking. If another... Uh... <laughs> okay, uh, let's load that save again. All right. I feel like a bad guy. They're like, hey, look, another cheating smooth skin. I don't need their rope and nuka colas that bad. <clears throat> and it's always night time when we get here. Let's go talk to these fine gentlemen and not be thieving douchebags. I'll be a thieving douchebag when I leave this town. Stay away from those Vault City. Those are the guys are assholes. You like it from? You're from Vault City. I am actually. Well, no, I'm not. I mean, I came from there, but I'm not from there. If you know what I mean. We're not, we're tolerant here, but not stupid smoothie. Okay, so this is where the smooth skin business came from. <clears throat> or actually, did that one guy beforehand call us uh, smooth skins in, you know, Fallout 1? You know, Seth. I think his name was Seth, yeah. Did he call us smooth skins? I'm not for sure. I don't think Harold did. It wasn't Harold's big idea to call anybody a smooth skin anyways in that game. But we got us a, a rat away, which you can sell for a mega shitload of money. And I say mega shitload with a commanding presence here because those do rack up quite a nice tally on the monies. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Hello there, my name's Lenny. How can I... Oh, I'm so sorry I hit the mic. How can I help you? <clears throat> well, what do you do here? Well, I help Harold mostly. When people get hurt, I help them out. Help Harold do what? I help Harold administer the town. There's always more paperwork to do. What else did you say you do here? Well, I help Harold mostly. When people get hurt, I help them out. Didn't just say that. You can heal people? Well, before the war, I was a doctor. Before the war, that must have been almost 160 years ago. Okay, so that's the timeline. That's that's true. But the radiation seems to have given us ghouls a longer lifespan. Of course, it took almost everything else away. Took things away. Well, yes. We look like friggin' freaks. We don't have any skin, for Christ's sakes. Hmm. 
Well, I guess you have seen better days. You could say that. I'd trade in all those years to be a normal person again. Well, not much of hope of that, I suppose. If those fools in Vault City would share their medical technology, I'm sure we could cleanse the excess, excess radiation and heal ourselves. They won't help you? You've been to Vault City. And you tell me what... Then you tell me what you think the chances of getting help from those bigots is. Might as well watch a paper dog chase an asbestos cat through hell. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, but I think you're right. Let me ask you about something else. Lenny, have you ever heard of something called a Garden of Eden creation kit? Garden of Eden creation kit? I heard that Vault City had one of those. That's why... I that's the only one I've heard of, though. Well, my ancestor, the Vault Dweller, ha said that Vault 13 owes this one. I need to find it. Well, I didn't actually meet the Vault Dweller, but I saw him once. You saw the Vault, vault Dweller? Where? It was a long time ago in a place called Necropolis. A lot of us ghouls lived there. One day I saw someone running through the city. Running? Yes, running. You see, we ghouls can't run too much anymore, so I knew it was an outsider when I saw them. They ran by so close I could have touched them. I wish that I had joined the Vault Dweller. You wanted to join my grandsire? Yes, I had the chance of a lifetime and blew it. What do you mean? Later I heard the Vault Dweller had fixed our water system. The Vault Dweller saved us, all of us. Do you understand? It didn't matter that we were ghouls. We w for once, it didn't matter. We were people again. Worth saving. My ancestor was the founder of our tribe. That memory is revered against my people. Amongst my people. Later, I heard the Vault Dweller destroyed the source of a mutant army. The Vault Dweller saved all of us. Human and ghoul alike. I could have been a part of that, but I lacked the courage. I've never forgiven myself. I'm sure that the work you do here amongst the ghouls is value and meaning. It was good to hear of my ancestor. Let me ask you something. <clears throat> now, in Fallout 1, all of this stuff happened. This is a huge spoiler. If you haven't played Fallout 1, I just ruined like 75% of the game for you. So if you're watching Fallout 2 without watching Fallout 1, then you've Fallout fucking failed is what you've done. But... I just want you to know that you can always go back and look at that video. I've got it. It's it's really cool. And yes, I did all that stuff that that guy said. Okay. Just looking around. Goodbye. Now it's time to meet the classic Harold. Once again, returning from Fallout 1. Harold, everybody. Harold. Damn. Hello there, smooth skin. The name's Harold. I help keep this town running. Smooth skin? Why did you call me that? You cut with the dull edge of the knife, don't you? You don't look like an orange peel left in the sun all day. Your skin's still soft and purty. Oh, God, that was creepy. Now, for all I know, this is the same voice actor. I'm not for sure, but I think it is, because he sounds like the original voice actor, but I'm not for sure. I'll have to look it up, or you guys can tell me, actually. That would be cool to see something in the comments. Go on the wiki. I don't care. Tell me. I ain't got time to get on the wiki. Yeah, I do, but, you know, I just want comments. Anyways, <sighs> okay, got me there. I'll try to make my next question a little more worthwhile. What you need, youngster? Hello, Harold. What do you do here? <laughs> Whatever it takes to keep this place together. Better job on it than me. See, that, that sounds like the original, Harold. This place is coming apart? Well, sort of. Our atomic reactors are mind sensitive. The people I got running it mean well, but... <laughs> well, they are not the sharpest tools in the shed, if you know what I mean. What do you mean? <laughs> Need a little time on the whetstone yourself, huh? I mean, they are not too bright. Here's an example. The other day, I get a report. On it, it says the main coolant valve should be shut down. That would have caused a meltdown. That would make the Grand Canyon look like a pig walla. <laughs> that sounds bad. Oh, yeah. That would 
would be bad. <coughs> now, I got things fixed up in time, but <coughs> we came close to the end there. Whew. They need someone to watch out for them. Good thing you're here to help them. <coughs> Who'd have thought I'd be making things right? Although, if we don't get a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator pretty damn quick, there is gonna be trouble. What the hell is a Hydra Magna whatever altar? <laughs> well, technically, it's a thingy. Okay. What does it do? Without a functional hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, we are leaking radioactive coolant into the groundwater. Now that means anyone using that water is not going to need a night light to take a midnight piss. Also, we need more fuel because our power plant is not burning it very efficiently. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds bad. Where would you get a hydro magneto something or other? Well, I'm certain those ornery bastards in Vault City have one. Not that they'd share. Hell, even if we had one of those thingies, I'm not so certain Festus could install the dang thing. <laughs> Vault City wouldn't give you the part? Even if it means that the groundwater won't be polluted anymore? Well, they'd only help us if they thought it was in their own best interest to do so. Not much chance of that happening. <laughs> hmm. You may be right. Still, if someone could convince them that they should help you. They shoot ghouls on sight. Makes conversation a bit tricky. Uh -huh. I wonder if someone else could tell them. We need a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator and it needs to be installed soon or we have got some real problems. What happens if you don't get the part? <laughs> if we don't get it, you can bet those boneheads from Vault City will shut down our power plant permanently. What will you do then? Take dirt naps. Vault City doesn't play nice. They'll just come up here and kill all of us if we don't get that part. Well, <laughs> at least I'll have a tree for a monument. <laughs> all right. Sounds like you need that hydro thingy pretty badly. Let me ask you something else right now, though. What you need, youngster? Uh, is there some place I can barter or resupply here? Well, you might try talking a wooze over in the harp. You can't miss it. It's just across the way. <coughs> what you need, youngster? Hmm. Is that a tree growing out of your head? Jealous? His name's Herbert. I talk to him when I get lonely. <laughs> just kidding. His name's Bob. Yeah, Bob. Right. Well, maybe you or Bob will know the answer to this. What you need, youngster? You must know if there's something called a Garden of Eden creation kit here. A Garden of Eden creation kit? A gick, right? Well, I seem to remember vaults had those. Don't know where you'd find one today. <coughs> Excuse me. What you need, youngster? All right. Oh, well, hello, Harold. Just passing through. Goodbye. Okay. Alrighty, so... Harold needs one of those little thingamabobs. Whatever they are. The hydro, magneto, thing, irresoluter, blah, 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 yakety yak. I can't even remember what it's called, and I've practically read it six times already. <sighs> That's the way it goes. Let's go ahead and uh, learn some science. The big fat book of science, that is. Yeah, delicious science. Alright, now. I feel a little more confident in my science skill. Let's go ahead and check it out and see what it looks like. Science, 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 science. 57. That's not too bad. Really wouldn't mind learning some doctor shit, but you know. Whoa. Uh. The hell? You look like you're from Vault City. Joke's on you, asshole. I'm from hell. And I've come to collect. I don't know. 
70, let's get us a save on 71. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Okay. So now let's steal from old Harold. There we go. Blah, blah. I don't even know what this does. Okay. Hope you guys aren't too mad that I'm stealing your shit. So, we're going to actually end it here, guys. Next time, we're going to meet old Woos and go check out some more of this place. Then we're going to head back to Vault City and get that hydro majagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadag